Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with day 15 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And these are all exclusive sketches. And this sketch is by Michelle, I think it's Bucina or Bucina Dykeman. Sorry, I hope I didn't butcher that terribly. And she has this layout with these two pictures. And I have these two pictures of my son making his very first peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I am so excited to use this Jolie's by You peanut butter sandwich with peanut butter and jelly that I've had probably 15 years. And I'm going to use my Hip Kit Club for September and it's called It's a New Day. And that is what everything other than that Jolie's I do believe is going to be from this Hip Kit collection. I have not used it yet so none of my packages are open. I've not used any of the papers or embellishments. I love them. They're a really great color scheme and um, there's lots of really great icons and titles and things and there's a dozen sheets of double-sided paper and so I have my papers my embellishments and these two cute pictures of course my fabulous peanut butter sandwich and like I said these two pictures and my sketch so let's see how this goes so I knew right away this is the paper I wanted to use. It looks like you're smearing peanut butter and jelly or something on a paper that's swooshy. And so right here I'm trying to figure out what paper I want to go with it. And I don't know why originally I was thinking I could get away with just one other paper. But I end up gutting three other papers. Um, and that way I can use the paper as a background and I'm not losing, you know, it fully. So I'm going to get this one right here. And this will be, this inside piece will be what I map my pictures on. As well as one of the banners that's behind um, the picture cluster. And then I put my thing away, my paper trimmer away at this point. And I don't know why, because I got to get it back out. And I cut this yellow. And this is going to be the square behind my pictures that my pictures are going to rest on. And I thought, you know, if I if could work it out to use the other side, I could just use um, this one paper. But the other side doesn't really fit with what I want. So I'm just going to use this as my resting point for the two pictures. And I decided just to get a small piece from this really cool... Looks like col somebody took coloring pencils and just colored all over the paper. And I think it's pretty neat looking. But I just want a small piece because I'm not going to waste behind. I'm going to just cut a piece off for the top and then cut a piece off for the bottom. So I put this in and I've turned this to the side so it kind of looks like you started with your knife up at the top corner on the right and swooshed down with your, you know, peanut butter and jelly. And that was why I decided to use this. Then I got worried that my papers were going to cover up so much you can't guess that it's a swoosh. But I still think you get the gist of it. And I do think I'm going to trim that yellow paper down maybe to 7.5 by 7.5. I can't remember exactly. So I just create a banner for this um, bottom part. And I'm going to tuck it in over here on the far right. And then I could have cut um, a big piece of this off because I only wanted a little of it. But I had already cut it. I don't want little itty bitty pieces hanging around if I don't have to. If I can help it. So it wouldn't have been big enough to mat anything. So I went ahead and just tucked that in. I'm going to just eyeball it and drag it right down there. And tuck it in to where it is on top of that other one. But I'm not coming down further. And that will conclude the layers that are on this sketch. And now I am going to, like I said, I used that blue paper that is um, that far, the left banner on the back. I used that to map my pictures. And now I have put down the peanut butter and jelly. I left a little plastic piece on it so that I could pat it down without tearing it or smearing it. 
Um, and then I just tossed that away and kept the packaging for future smushing. And while it is not like a perfect fit color wise, I didn't care. I thought it was close enough. The blue in this collection is kind of like a bluey purple color. So I do bring a little bit of that in so that it'll bring more of that pop of the purple shades. But honestly, it it didn't matter to me. I thought that this was a good collection Had um, for these pictures. Um, had some phrasing and some embellishments that I thought would work. So I went ahead and used it. Um, I have set up all 31 days in what collection I'm using, what pictures I'm using. And so far, I've only gotten to one and said, what was I thinking and changed my mind on the collection I was using. And that's just because I can't remember what the pictures were. But it was Maggie Home Sunny Days, and it was not, it's mostly beachy themed stuff that's left in my collection. And it was not a beachy picture, so I don't know <laughs> what I was thinking, but obviously it wasn't going to work. So I just changed it up, which is fine. I am trying to aim to only use one collection a day and change it up. I do have two days that I've already done this month in, um... Cocoa Vanilla these days, and that's because I did one back in August um, that was featured by Christy on the 11th, and so I had forgotten all about that when I did day two, which was also these days by Cocoa Vanilla, and the only other one that is going to be the same is I'm going to do two days of Vicki Booten's print shop because it is a um, birthday layout for my birthday, uh, spoiler alert, and um it actually might be tomorrow. <laughs> uh, not my birthday, but the day I do the layout. And then there's a, a matching page that goes with it. And I thought that I would go ahead and use the the um, Photoshop for that. So that's the only other time I'm going to duplicate. But I have so much stuff for that collection. It'll be fine. I haven't used any of it yet. I can't wait. So anyway, back to this collection. Everything else I use is from the Hip Kit Club. And I do really like this. Um, the colors are really cool. They're not all pastel. Some of them are bolder, like that blue and that darker pink. Um, there's some fun embellishments and icons. Look at the sloth, you all. And then on there's an owl on here. So cute. So I, I got lots of great ideas for things to do with this um, when I don't feel, um, well, because I'm not using this on another layout for 30 days of sketches, if I'm going to use it this month, it will be on something else. And that's okay because I have other hops and things of that nature that I'll be doing, plus just regular old scrapbooking. So I pull out the puffies and I'm going to put a cluster of three here in the top right corner and down here between the peanut butter and the uh, little cluster in the bottom. And on her sketch, it looks like there's some mixed media here. And I had already gotten my pictures down when I kind of realized that I probably should have done some smushing behind there. But then again, I changed my mind about that because I feel like I'm already covering up enough of this layout. And I think the enamel or the puffy dots and then here I'm using hearts. I think that's enough. So I'm happy with the way that it turns out. And if I did this again, I would definitely do some smaller pictures and do some mixed media in the middle where it calls for it on the sketch. But I do take those tile um, numbers and I'm just going to put the date, which was 3-7-2017. And I'm going to put those down in here and then I'm going to grab in a uh, knockoff Muji pen and put the little dashes in between. And I am really happy with the way this is turning out. I put that title on there. It said impressive and that little round sticker that says you did it. And then um, there's another one on there that says something about dreams or living the dream or something like that. And that little camera up there. Um, I just really like the way that this turned out. And I felt like it was enough. It didn't need more, um, more is more is more is more. I felt like the clusters in that diagonal were enough to really make the pictures pop off the page. 
And this is just the first time my kiddo created his own peanut butter sandwich to take to school for lunch. And so I was just documenting that and finally getting to use the super cute Jolie's by You peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So here is Michelle's sketch again. I think it's so cute. I love those daisies. Obviously that didn't fit with what I was doing today. But, um, you know, I exchanged one of the daisies for a peanut butter sandwich. People do that all the time, right? <laughs> so here are the up close. Oh, yeah, there's the wow and then true story. And then there's that little pink one right there that says doing it all. So I hope you will check out the playlist of all of the awesome creatives who are hopping along this month, as well as I would love it if you would come back and see me again tomorrow for day 16. And I will be here every day this month, I hope. So um, I hope you're getting lots of inspiration. Hope to see you again soon. Have a great night and happy scrapping.